welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card that comes out is the mountain card. So there's a lot of obstacles uh, that you have to face or you be you have been facing so you you want to move forward you have a, a sort of an idea about how to get there but you're not quite sure how it's what's the outcome going to be uh, and here you are trying to you know move along your path uh, you're going it alone obviously uh, you can see she's walking down this pathway alone uh, but she's not quite sure how to actually reach um, you know her destination there so there are obstacles and problems that you need to encounter and right now things are not quite clear for you now there might be some kind of drama that's going on around you there might be some kind of crisis that you may have to deal with first uh, you can see everybody's pointing to this so there's some kind of uh, news that might be coming in but there might be some kind of crisis that you may need to deal with uh, you got the sweets card over here. It looks like success will come your way. Uh, you know, things will start improving for you. Uh, this is about getting a lot of sweets. Uh, not so good if you're diabetic, but definitely, uh, you know, um, whatever you're doing is going to be quite successful. People, whatever you're putting out, people are enjoying it. So there is success that comes in there. Now, in the past, you've got the felines over here and the foreigners. So it looks like you've been working a lot by yourself, trusting your intuition, uh, you know, maybe doing something that's been very psychic. And you've got the foreigners over there, so dealing with a lot of people on an international basis. You might even be doing a lot of travel as well, uh, you know, maybe independent travel as well. So whomever you're dealing with, uh, you're learning a lot from them. There's a lot of exchange of ideas. Uh, and, uh, you know, you could be communicating with them or you could be physically traveling overseas as well. So there's a lot of movement there, but there's a lot of learning that comes in with that so going into the future you've got the weapons card over there and the stairs so both these cards are showing that whatever you want to achieve it's uh, going to be you know it's a long hard climb to the top over there even there getting to the top of that mountain you know uh, it looks like whatever you've undertaken or whatever job you're doing uh, you know there's a long way to go it's a hard climb uh, you've got all the tools that you need and whatever obstacles and problems you will be able to overcome it you just need to keep persevering uh, and you know here to achieve that golden ring you know even if you have any problems or issues and it seems such a steep climb to the top in both these cards uh, it looks like you're going to have to just persevere. You have all the skills and talents you need to be able to get to it. It's just you being about knuckling down and actually getting on with things and being, uh, you know, whatever dramas come along, uh, you know, you'll be able to sort through it. You have enough, uh, you know, talents and skills to be able to sort it out. Uh, but it is going to be a bit of a, a slog to get to the top, but you will achieve your goals. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to use the Tarot Lenormand for the main read. Okay, so you have, have got the Nine of Swords. Uh, this is talking about feeling very anxious, very trapped, uh, you know, very frustrated wherever you are at this particular moment. This man is st stuck in this little jail cell. Maybe, you know, you're not getting out much. You're spending a lot of time by yourself, and whatever you're doing is uh, keeping you very chained, uh, very tied up, and you're very, very anxious at this particular moment. Um, and you've got, uh, you know, it's it's got to do with work. Um, you know, maybe there's also a loss of communication. You've got the Three of Swords. You're dealing, uh, you know, with a breakup situation. You're dealing with a lot of heartbreak. Uh, and, you know, whatever is going on, uh, you know, it's keeping you very, very bound up, very, very t tied up in that situation. And you're very frustrated. You've got the King of Wands over here, and you've got the Knight of Cups. Now, the King of Wands is that you could be dealing with a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that brings in an offer for you. Or this could be you in a situation where you need to take control, be more dynamic, be more hands-on, uh, you know, being an authority, and maybe an offer comes in for a new job where you'll get that kind of role, where, you know, uh, you 
are more in, in the spotlight, uh, and you might uh, you know, be doing a lot more travel as well with that Knight of Wands. So maybe a new offer for a new job coming in in that way. You got the Three of Cups over here, so there has been some kind of recent celebration, uh, you know, being happy about achieving something recently. Uh, there was some goal that you attained. This could also be that, you know, you may have gotten together with some friends and have been, you know, uh, um, exchanging uh, a lot of ideas with these people or they've been showing you a lot of support. Whatever you're working on, you've been, you know, whatever your project you're working on is got an international flavor to it, but you've also needed to use a lot of strategy as well in dealing with whatever you're dealing with. So this is about putting, making plans, putting into place and taking whatever you're doing onto that international front onto a global scale as well. Now, you have been carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities. You might have been dealing with a lot of problems, arguments. It looks like that is coming to an end, or you are laying it to rest, rather. This is on your mind. You've got the whip and the broom over here, and this is about whatever repetitive uh, cycle that's been going on. It looks like you're ready to end that particular cycle. Now, you're very, very defensive. It looks like in the past you were dealing with a lot of toxic energy. Uh, you can see you're watching your back right now. There's still people around you that are very, very... Uh, nasty, very venomous. With the Seven of Swords, it's about you know dealing with uh, uh, you know somebody who has done something to you and gotten away with it, uh, and that's put you up on the defensive. Something that was very, very unjust as well. So you've got the Nine of Wands over here, and this is about standing up for yourself and defending yourself. Uh, you know, feeling very, very tired, very exhausted. But there's still something nibbling away at you know your resources. It could be at your finance. It could be at your energies over there. Uh, so you need to be you know watch your back and watch who you trust. Uh, you know and uh, you know keep a tight rein off everything that goes on in your life. You've got the Tower card coming in over here. So there's some kind of big. Uh, revelation, some kind of crisis that is going to be coming in. This isn't the card that is surrounding you, so this might not affect you directly. It might have implications on you, but it might not be your tower, because it's in the cards uh, of the energy surrounding you, so it might be happening to somebody around you. But there's some kind of big event that comes in uh, that causes a lot of drama. Maybe you hear about something that's going to bring, bring in a big change. It's not it doesn't necessarily mean it is a towel moment for you, uh, rather maybe a towel moment for somebody else around you, somebody that you're w around uh, and it has an effect on you. Now you've got the six of rods uh, over here and um, you've got a, um, a letter there. So this is about news coming in and you're waiting for some kind of news that brings victory. You're waiting for some good news to come in, really. So going into the future, you've got the queen of swords over here, the five of cups and the hierophant. So the Queen of Swords over here, uh, you know, it's being very determined, uh, making sure that you're cutting things out that are not serving you. Uh, maybe you're even waiting for some kind of legal news to come in and you're hoping that it's good news that comes in over there with that Six of Wands. Uh, but this is also, you know, um, severing ties with people uh, and, uh, you know, going it alone, doing whatever you're doing by yourself and being very independent. And, you know, being able to say whatever you want without really caring whether it affects anybody anymore. Uh, because it looks like you've been hurt quite a bit. So it seems like whatever you're saying now, you don't really uh, give a two pence about whether or not somebody else is upset by it. So you are speaking your truth because the truth will set you free. So you are standing up for what you believe in now. You got the five of cups. So there was a big gloss that happened for you there. And, you know, it was something that you held dear to your heart. Uh, and it looks like you're still crying about it. You're still very, very upset about it. You've learned a lot of lessons with the Hierophant. And you are now taking on almost that role of being able to mentor people, taking that spiritual uh, a role as being almost like a spiritual guide to people. Now, the Hierophant is also, this is a card ruled by Taurus. It's also about making sure that you're sorting out your financial issues, uh, maybe getting some financial advice as well. This is about institutions, so maybe, uh, you know, having to, if you've had any kind of loss, maybe, uh, you know, checking out your bank accounts, that kind of thing. Uh, but also about getting advice that is sound and productive uh, and, um, you know, following that advice as well. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, need to maybe collaborate. This is also, uh, you know, getting your, changing your spiritual belief system as well with the Hierophant. So whatever you've been through, you've, you know, you've done a big turnaround and you've changed, um, you know, what you believe in and, uh, you know, how you're putting it forward to people. But people are turning to you for advice as well with that Hierophant card. 
So definitely watch your back with that seven of swords. That toxic person or whatever that energy was that you dealt with is still around you, still in your vicinity. And they might be somebody that causes drama for you because those two cars are practically next to each other. So maybe that person that you dealt with is still around and is still stirring up a lot of problems. So just be aware of that. So I'm drawing cards from the Animal Tarot for the uh, Oracle Read. And you've got the Strength card over here, which says true strength is displayed through kindness and forgiveness. You have tremendous personal power and courage. So whatever issues you're going to have, you were dealing with, you're going to be able to overcome it with the Strength card. So having what it takes to succeed. Uh, and you know, uh, taking control of that situation. Don't underestimate yourself as well with that strength card. You have what it takes. You've got the Queen of Autumn, which is your card, the Queen of Pentacles. You have been given advice that is both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus upon um, the positive in every situation. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is about money, working on making money, but also receiving some practical advice. The Hierophant is also getting practical advice as well. So it looks like you know whatever advice is coming your way, uh, you know, is going to be good advice. So whatever information you stumble across is going to be something that you need to follow. With the Queen of Pentacles, it's being in, a, in charge, in authority, being very, very strategic, planning, uh, and being very practical in how you handle situations and how you handle your finances. And the Empress comes in next. So this is another card ruled by Venus, both cards being ruled by Venus. And this is a time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success. So that is coming your way. These are two cards of success and two cards of money. So it looks like you're going to be hitting the big times pretty soon as far as the finance goes and as far as prosperity goes. And you're going to be doing it independently. So this is going to be something of your own making. You just have to persist. You have to persevere and hang in there and you will be successful. And just watch your back. Don't allow uh, that toxic energy back in your life. The the energy that completely ruined your life, don't allow it back. It looks like there's a new offer coming in here with that King of Cups. And it's going to be something that allows you to, uh, you know, um, the Knight of Cups is a new offer. But with the King of Cups, it's going to be put you into the spotlight and maybe, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of people o from overseas or even doing a lot of travel as well. So just watch that money, watch your finances. Something is nibbling away at it. Uh, there is a little bit of loss going on over here. So just look at your bank accounts. Make sure that you're watching things. And just be aware that there's this tower moment that is coming in. But it's not necessarily your tower moment. It might be uh, to somebody around you. And you might be somehow roped into it. So um, just be aware that could be coming in as well for you. So um, I hope this reading resonates. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.